one thing that was not said is that I'm also a breast cancer survivor, so thank you, Raisa, so much for what you do. Um, although I wasn't obese when I got it, but, um, you know, <laughs> um, we really need all the research we can get. Um, anyway, I, um, I did have to um, stop uh, my... Uh, my work in, in child abuse, regretfully, because I was just doing too much, and I had to choose between those two subspecialties. But I still do a lot of general pediatrics, and, um, and then I do my subspecialty work also in um, childhood obesity. And I am mostly a clinician and also an educator, so I do a lot of education of medical students and residents and also practicing physicians. And um, also other um, areas, including um, educators, nurses, and um, other types of um, people. And I really love what I'm doing. But it is taking care of children and families that I certainly love the best. So I, I love taking care of complex medical problems. Um, I love it when I'm in the hospital and I get somebody right out of intensive care and they've been in um, a motor vehicle accident and they've got multiple problems. But I find childhood obesity is one of the most complex medical problems that there is and it affects every organ system in the body from the brain, the heart, the lungs, uh, the kidneys, the liver, the skin. It covers every um, organ system in the body. Um, I find obesity to be a three-legged stool. It is not just um, diet and exercise, but it's also psychological. And if you don't address all three areas, uh, including the mental health, you will not have good weight management. And it is a very difficult problem to treat, which is why um, a lot of primary care physicians would prefer to uh, refer their patients to a specialist in this area because it takes a lot of time and a multidisciplinary team such as we have um, really uh, has a more comprehensive view. However, the push nationwide is for primary care doctors to step up and take care of their own patients and give us the more complex, difficult ones that are not responding to treatment. And that's really what I would like to see happening, too. And I've really helped um, try to educate primary care doctors how they can treat their own uh, overweight and obese pediatric patients. But it's not easy, but it can be done. And uh, I really like it when that happens. I can tell you that um, in our pediatric fitness clinic, we have seen thousands of patients, not just from Arkansas, but also uh, Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, and even Missouri. And um, I feel so strongly for these families because many of them have been orphaned because their parents have already died of obesity-related diseases and they're living with other family members. These children are tormented and bullied in school to the point that they, don't, they can't learn and they don't want to go to school, and it's worsened their problems um, tremendously. And which is why I'm also on um, the Obesity Society's Weight Bias Task Force, trying to help in the schools as much as I can. And I think I feel honored to help these families because um, there's very few people who um, want to or can do it. it. People feel overwhelmed with so, the so many problems that they have and how to help them because it is a new area in medicine. We only started using body mass index growth charts in children in the year 2000. So it's a new type of problem and um, 
we're only now beginning to really understand how to help these kids. The um, Around the nation, a lot of the people that I know who are treating childhood obesity have um, a lot of feelings that we have to uh, really look at setting the bar lower, not really look at dropping their BMI as much as changing the um, parameters of, say, their blood pressure, their blood lipids, um, their quality of life, because it is very difficult to drop their BMI. I feel differently because I feel like it's our opportunity to save their life. I don't want them to come to me with a tracheostomy in their neck because they can't breathe at night, but I have those patients in my clinic. I don't want them to come to me already having clogged up arteries and they're not even out of their teenage years and they're going to have a heart attack before they hit 30. This is not right. And so I try really hard to help them slim, slim down, but we do not emphasize the weight. We emphasize permanent healthy lifestyle change, not just for the child, but the whole family. And um, so we think we're on the right track, but we try to keep an open mind because we know that um, the um, book has not yet been written on really how to treat this problem and doctors alone can't do it it takes the family it takes the community the schools it's going to take the food industry it's going to take legislation it's going to take a whole lot of change in a whole lot of areas to really make a permanent fix on this problem